Hi, we at North Chemistry students. Today we're going to talk a little bit about molarity. Molarity is just a way of measuring the concentration in a, of an unsaturated solution. So not saturated things, things that are still in that um, range of dilute to concentrated. So both of which are unsaturated. So let's do a little review. So for an unsaturated solution, remember, you can have it be dilute, which means that you don't have much stuff dissolved in it. You've got a lot of free water, very little solute compared to how much solvent there is. So you're like one of those people that likes Kool-Aid with just a little bit of flavor. You know, you don't want too much in there. Now, some people, on the other hand, are going to want to have their Kool-Aid be very sweet. Um, and they want it to be concentrated, right? They want lots of solute in, in um, the amount of solvent that there is. So that means there's very little free water. Um, all of that solute is being dissolved by that water, um, so it's very concentrated. So we've got this range, right, going from dilute over here to concentrated. Now we want to be able to measure that. Now there's a few ways you can do that. Percent mass is one of them, okay, that we've talked about a little bit in the past. But all percent mass is is the, the grams of the solute divided by the grams of the whole mixture. So it's kind of like you do any percent. It's the part divided by the whole. The problem with this is it's not terribly useful in aqueous solutions um, because we're not dealing with grams, right? We've got this um, substance or solute that's dissolved in water, so that kind of changes stuff for us. So we have another way of doing that, and that's what molarity is. Molarity is how many moles of solute are dissolved in one liter of solution. Yes, that's right. We're going to talk about moles again, so um, put your seatbelts on. All right, so concentration measurement really comes down to this formula right here. So molarity is just the how many moles there are per liter, or moles of solute divided by liters of solution. That's very important. It has to be in moles. It has to be in liters for this to work. So if you're doing a problem and it's not moles or liters, yeah, that means you're going to have to do some converting. Sorry. All right, so to solve a concentration problem, um, there's a, just a, a few steps that we're going to do. Number one, make sure you're using the correct formula. Number two, list out your variables. This is all the same process we've done before. Um, convert anything you need to. So if you need to get to moles, make sure you convert to moles. If you need to convert to liters, make sure you're converting to liters. And then lastly, you're going to calculate your answer. So let's have a look here at a problem and see if we can figure this one out. All right, this problem says, I dissolved 158 grams of NaOH, sodium hydroxide, into 500 milliliters of H2O. What is the molarity of my basic solution? So I know I'm going to do my molarity is equal to moles divided by liters because I'm trying to find molarity. But right away, we can see we have a problem, right? I've got grams, which means I've got to convert it to moles. And then over here, I've got milliliters, so I've got to change that to liters. So sometimes our problems will be very easy and we'll give you, we'll say you have two moles of a substance and we have so many liters. Um, but this would be an example of one that's a little bit more challenging because we have to convert grams to moles and we've got to convert milliliters to liters. Okay, so there's your formula. Molarity is equal to moles divided by liters. So again, we have to do a little bit of converting here. So first things to get my grams to moles. If you guys remember way back, given over goal. So the given in this, I have grams, I've got to get it to moles. So I'm given 158 grams, and I'm trying to find out how many moles. So that's where you're going to put your x, right? So your given is the 58, 158 grams. Your goal is to convert that to moles. Now you got to set this to a conversion uh, factor, right? we got to set it equal to something because this is a proportion. Does anyone remember what we're going to set it equal to? Stop. Think. Yes, that's right. You guys had thought my mole sentence, right? I remember that the molar mass, 40 grams in one mole. So when you're doing this conversion, you're always just make sure your units match up, right? Moles and moles, grams and grams. And this number 40, where did you get that from? All that is is the molar mass. Remember, we got to look at the periodic table, find the mass of sodium, the mass of oxygen, the mass of hydrogen, add it all up, and you get 40, okay? So that may take a little bit of, you got to clear those cobwebs out to get back to that. So then now you're just going to cross multiply 158 times 1 is equal to 40 times x. And then you find the answer to be 4. So good. All right. We got moles now, remember? So that's what we want to end up with. The next thing we're going to have to do is we are going to have to convert milliliters to liters. A little bit easier, hopefully, right? 
So for this one, remember, just move your decimal. I go three to the left, one, two, three. So my decimal is now in front of the five. So 500 milliliters is equal to 0.5 liters. Now it's just I can take those two numbers, right? And because I'm in moles and because I'm in liters, I can now plug it into my formula. So molarity is equal to moles divided by liters. So moles is four, liters is 0.5. You divide that and you get 8m. Now, the big capital M is the symbol or unit for molarity. So if we're trying to ask you, what is the molarity, and you do your calculation, you're going to give us your answer and just put a big M behind it, because that means 8 molar, or the molarity is 8. Okay? All right, so you can see here, this is a graph showing that relationship. The moles of solute down here, here's your molarity. And this should make sense, right? If I add more and more Kool-Aid to my... Um, jug of water, it's going to get more and more and more concentrated. The molarity is going to increase. Molarity is just kind of code word for concentration. Okay, So the more moles I add, the more concentrated it's going to get. All right, last problem or idea here is what the heck is percent mass? Okay, Now we've done these kind of things before, but and just keep in mind, ultimately we're just kind of doing part divided by whole. That's kind of what you wanted to think of. But it's the grams of the solute or the amount, the grams of the smaller amount divided by the grams of the bigger amount, or the total. Okay, so if I look at this problem, I've got a sample of sand with 35 grams of silica crystals, so this is just sand, 4 grams of um, sodium crystals, or salt, and 1 gram of other solid particulate. What's the percent mass of the salt? So I just, I'm, we're asking you here, how much salt, or what percent of this whole mixture is salt? So to do this, I just have to do my grams of the solute or the grams of the smaller part. What are we trying to find? We're trying to find salt, right? And I know that I've got four grams. So that's the part, four grams divided by the whole mixture. What's the mass of the whole mixture? So I'm just going to take my 35 grams plus my four grams plus my one gram um, to total those guys up. That ends up to be 40. So I end up with four divided by 40 times 100, 10% salt. Okay, so percent mass should be relatively easy for you people. It's just going to be part divided by the whole. Just make sure you're kind of keeping track of everything and, and doing your math right. Okay, that's it. Molarity, percent mass. If you have any questions, make sure you rewatch the video or stop and see your teacher for some questions.